have something that should be interesting to watch them eat. Freshwater clams, $1.99. Uh, I want them all. Okay. <laughs> Dangle some food right above Megalocrappy's head and then get him to wow smash it. Look at this gigantic piece of Malaysian driftwood. Oh my god, it sticks out of the water. That's so sick. So here we go. Guys, we are in here in the fish room. We got some super, super sick stuff today from the fish cave, but we're gonna focus on this one fish. Guys, I got something to add to this oddball aquarium in progress, and I think you're gonna like it because the majority like this fish. What you checking out? What's that? Those water dogs? Um, yes. Very cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Super cool. Um, let's go with 100. 100? Okay. 100. Guys, Erica just showed me freshwater clams. Freshwater, we need freshwater clams. We need freshwater clams. $1.99? Uh, I want them all. Okay. <laughs> Sledge likes crawfish. No. He does though. He really likes crawfish. No. It's like his favorite thing to eat. They do that. What are we getting out of there? Not toy. I'm gonna start a whole gang of them. What's up guys? You know about this problem I have, right? This problem where I, I go to my fish stores and uh, oh, anywhere that deals with fish and I just buy a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, we got some cool stuff happening. Giant pieces of driftwood, fishing poles. You know guys, who, who would have ever thought that running a YouTube channel would be so much money? And now two channels, now we gotta really get stuff. No, but seriously, I just, I have a problem. Look at this sick piece of Malaysian driftwood, guys. I don't know if you can see all the, the freaking detail in this piece of wood but my ladies over at the fish cave had this thing hidden from me no i'm just kidding but look at this with all these little pieces that poke out yeah we're gonna do something freaking epic with this i had to get a new net because kona my pit bull decided that she was gonna eat my other one. Ooh, some feeding tongs you know what that's for maybe just a hint just a little hint maybe to Dangle some food right above Megalocrappy's head and then get him to wow smash it Possibly or even sledge or even the smaller wild guy guys Epicness so guys I have this gigantic aquarium net that I just got today Like I said check out the seven gallon wooden beta pond I actually went to the store today in search of some mates there for the betta fish and, and reading a lot of your guys' comments um, who, who's had experience with, with mixing um, other types of fish with a male betta fish? Please, please give me your advice because there's a lot of mixed comments and then I got a lot of mixed advice today um, from my local fish store. And as you guys know guys, I'm more of a predatory monster fish, odd fish kind of guy. I'm not ashamed to say I don't know a lot about betta fish. I know the basics and I know how to create a sick pond for one, but definitely let me know. Um, give me some good, hard, hard advice. Your past experiences, I would love to hear it. Look at this gigantic piece of Malaysian driftwood. For right now, this gigantor piece of wood. God, how am I gonna even get this in here and pass the light? Holy crap. Man, this thing is like really gigantic. Uh, what I'm gonna do for right now, oh my God, it sticks out of the water. That's so sick. That is so sick. I'm actually gonna pull it up and kind of just let it lean for right now. But we're gonna make this thing look epic. We got another piece in here. We're gonna skate this thing out nice. In this tank, you're gonna see it. We're gonna, we're gonna add the fish together here in just a couple days. All right, guys, so let's go into 
the garage pond room slash quarantine room and get some of these feeders. All right, so we're here in the pond room, guys, and behind me, we have our quarantine tanks. We actually have Gilbert that was caught by my sister-in-law, still going through the medication process. You're actually sitting on top of where our two big baths are currently healing from the Black Plague outbreak that we had, but they're doing well. But down here is where I quarantine my feeder fish. So let's get some feeder minnows. We need to get a little bit of water in here. There's one, two, three, and four. There's five. Five should do it. Boom. All right, guys, so it's been long, nice, long acclimation. I know you're probably tired of waiting. For the majority of you, you should enjoy this. For the other ones, ah, well, you know. Can't please everybody. So here we go. Oh yeah, you see them. You see them, guys. Look at this beauty. Another Asian needle gar that we are gonna be adding to this nice oddball aquarium. There he goes. See him there, so we got one, two, three Asian needle gar up in this bad boy. So here we go guys, we have two of them swimming up here. Everything about these fish I love. Look at the red crayfish on the prow. And we got our new guy just over here, still settling in. Now you guys know this wouldn't be complete without a feeding. <laughs> and I have something that should be interesting to watch them eat. So guys, in my normal fashion, I like to give my fish about a day to chill out. Here is the two Asian needle gar right here, and there is our third one. Can you see him down there? Doing super, super well. So let's see if our new guy will eat. All right, guys, you can see the mighty Pablo the Paku, who is doing so, so well. I thought about moving him for a while back into a larger aquarium, but he's, he's loving it right now, and he's still got plenty of time to grow. I mean, he'll be in here all the way up to moving day. But um, he's doing super well. And then we have the three, look at them, stacked up up here. So let's get their, uh, their meal plan ready. Let's get a look down here where we can see everything. And let's see what they do. Oh, oh my God, they strike so fast. There's one, they all have them. Oh, well, except for one. Which one did Donnie, oh, that's our new one right there. That's the new one, so that's good. I'm glad to see that. This guy here looks like he is moving in for the strike, waiting for Pablo. I have got to clean that glass, man. This awesome camera really shows all the imperfections. Let's see, is this minnow really gonna get away with this? He is a little big. I have some smaller ones though that we can put in there. Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh yeah! Huff him down, huff him down. We have some happy, happy Asian needle gar right now, guys. Look how beautiful these guys are. I love these guys. They are just, they're, they're so interesting to watch to me. They really are just so interesting. I love it. Something different, something you don't see all the time. They really, really are cool. So there is another minnow. There you are. I don't know. And there's another one right there. Now what's going on? Are they just going to let them be? I mean, they all three got one. So they're probably feeling pretty good. So that was pretty sweet guys. All of this Malaysian driftwood in here is actually going to be coming out and going into the new aquarium that we're setting up. All of the rock work in here with sledge and megalocropy and megalodon, all that rock work is going to be coming out and going in here, which is going to look super cool, I believe. And um, these guys are going to go bare. Bear oh, just got another strike. Gone before we can even focus. <laughs> But um, all these guys are just gonna run bare tank. Uh, they will have substrate until it is time to go. 
and I want you guys to really be able to see the sheer size that Megalodon has put on. It's absolutely insane, insane, insane in the membrane. So guys, that's our video for today. If you um, haven't already checked out the UA Fishing Channel, definitely do. Tonight, I should have the first video finished and up on there, but doing a lot of work to the house, getting ready to sell and getting all this moving prepared. So I greatly, greatly appreciate all you guys stopping in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the new vicious toothy little predator that we added to our Asian Needle Gar clan. I have super, super cool plans to add or, or for this tank or for this group because when we move, they are gonna move to a different tank. So that'll be pretty cool. But this is gonna kind of be like an oddball, all long fish aquarium. So I'm super stoked for it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next video or over at UA Fishing. Thanks for watching.